how much change there had been in all of the tools that humans had evolved. Um, I actually did a lot of thinking about that and had some sketched out diagrams about just all of the kind of tools and then all the changes in cultures that went about with it and then all of the ways in which a society would have to integrate all that in order to take advantage of that and uh, that there's a big process in which there be the co-evolution of all these different dynamics in society and uh, so that well it just looked like the business about collective IQ is a term would be so extremely important to society mm -hmm. that if whatever you could do to stimulate and help it emerge would just be a so it was really the idealistic contribution <laughs> how do you think this collection the collective IQ could serve a role in the innovation system of the future how could it take part directly as a tool of innovating oh. technology you know if collectively understanding the dynamics of the current state of things in the world Okay, what are the big problems, what are the big opportunities, the challenges, the resources available, the dis and it's all the issues that are there about, uh, you know, how, how does our society collectively decide where to turn its energy and resources? And you realize it's a collective process, <laughs> and a pretty clumsy one. So you say, hey, if we can boost boost our collective IQ that would become ever more effective and if we don't get as effective as we possibly can you know the probability of, of society just crashing right off the mm -hmm. so you can you also predict a catastrophic end of the society oh there's certainly possible it's like a, you think it could happen? Well, let's see, how bad would things have to get with China? Hmm. And maybe India and China? And then the, the United States and all that in order for some atom bombs to go off? And wow, what would, could happen? You know, how, how much would the radioactivity that could be produced in you know, squash whole areas. Mm -hmm. And but the solution you see is collective IQ and anything other than that to save the world from this catastrophe? Yeah, if we don't get, you know, it's a collective problems and issues and the, most of the big political things are collective uh, sways, etc. like this. So, however a nation, whether a dictator takes over or what, it's still, it's still a collective process <laughs> that creates that dictatorship rather than, you know, so, so that if, if we don't get collectively smarter and more intelligent about how we come to understand the dynamics of the social, political, economic, environmental situations.